What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making Philadelphia Fish House Punch, which should be, if it isn't, your 4th of July staple punch. According to David Wondrich, that amazing cocktail historian, this punch should be taught in school, protected by law, and made a mandatory part of every 4th of July. Since we're coming close to 4th of July, I thought I would teach this for you, but we're gonna not be doing the large punch version, we're gonna do a one-off. So just like a single serving punch for you guys. Um, this cocktail pre dates back to pre-revolutionary America and there was a group of rebellious um, politicians and fishermen that called themselves the Schuylkill Fishing Company of Pennsylvania. They decided that they were gonna try and secede from the United States and create their own sovereign state and they drank a lot of this punch and maybe drinking this punch is what got them to think that way. So let's get into it. It's got a lot of ingredients. It's a little bit heavy handed, but it is wonderful and you guys should all try it. So the first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce. I'm using Appleton 12 year Jamaican rum. You can also use the signature if you like, but I like this 12 year, it's very nice. So we're putting that three quarters of an ounce of Appleton 12. Three quarters of an ounce of creme de peche. We're using GE Massage, but oh, and oh yeah, we go. Um, we're using J.E. Massage, but uh, but Giffard also makes a really nice creme de peche as well. It's funny because when I pulled that off, I thought maybe the top came off, but it just has this weird little pore spout. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Do I got to pry the, oh, no, no. That's actually how it's supposed to go. That shows you how much I use this. I'm going to have to find more recipes with it. Anyway, three quarters of an ounce. And we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of Pierre Ferrand 1840 Cognac that any VSOP cognac will do. And then we're just gonna do a quarter of an ounce of cane sugar syrup. Whoa. Now we're gonna build this a little bit differently than we normally build a drink. So first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put a little bit of soda, maybe approximately two ounces of seltzer in the bottom of a glass, maybe a little over that. Then we're gonna add ice to our shaker. And we're gonna give it a short shake. So, not fully dilute, because we're adding it to seltzer. Center our glass. Then we're going to add our cocktail in there. And then, we are going to add our ice. And yes, I'm touching with my ice. Somebody commented pretty recently about me touching ice with my hands. And I gotta tell you guys that um, not only do I touch ice in my hands in my own house, I actually touch ice with my hands in at work too. But I, you know, most bartenders keep their hands meticulously clean. And uh, it really shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you are hygienic uh, to touch ice. So for instance, it would be a little bit weird to be touching. I mean, it wouldn't be weird, but like, honestly, I have to go get a rock of ice. I'm not going to be using big old ice tongs. So then we're just going to finish this off after my little diatribe there with a little nutmeg grated on top. And then we're going to garnish just like a thin slice of lemon. And I'm just going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna sip it, so I'm gonna stick it like that. And then I'm gonna put my straw up in here. I'm gonna give it a taste for you guys and see how it tastes. Yes, oh man. Oh man, the cognac and the peach is just like, everything builds off one another. You got like the cognac, you've got the peach. And peach is really forward, but the peach blends with that Jamaican rum just so well. It is refreshing, it is a little dry. You get a little bit of tartness and it's not too sweet. You get a nice like aromatics of that nutmeg and then the nutmeg is gonna like kind of go down into the cocktail. I'm gonna actually take a sip without the straw. The nutmeg gives it this like kind of brilliant winter flavor but at the same time you have that you know lemon and, and you've got that Jamaican rum and the peach and it's just 
This is the template that all punches should be based on. It is just so phenomenally good. There you have it, my friends, the Philadelphia Fish House Punch. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see what we got going on on Patreon, we've got some really nice exclusive content dropping there. Patreon.com slash The Educated Barfly. I will see you guys next time. Have a safe and responsible holiday. See you on another time.